What is going on YouTube? It's Bad Bobby Gamer here, and today I have for you another product review. And the review today is of the Retech 2.4 GHz wireless air mouse. And it's this device right here. You got this side, and then you got this side, which this side you hold like this. And what this is, it's a remote control and a keyboard and a mouse that uses IR and you can control the mouse by moving it like so because it's IR it's <coughs> infrared you know IRs and uh, the USB that it comes with to hook up to your computer is an IR blaster there's the IR it's built right into there and this device the air the air mouse from Retech run runs off of two AAA batteries the way you put them in is right here you take your thumb and you pop it up and it comes right off and then that reveals your battery department and from there you put in your batteries I'm trying to figure out a way to hold this so I can show you the battery me putting in the batteries there is one and here's two and then the way you get this back on is you simply just Get it lined up properly and then you push down and, and now it's back on. And now you can see the uh, LED blinking if I once you hit this power button right here. It's searching for the USB. I don't have the USB plugged in yet, but I will plug in this USB sensor and I will switch over to my screen uh, screen recording program and record my screen with my webcam in the top corner of the screen showing you everything I'm doing. So guys, hope you stay tuned for the rest of this review. <clears throat> you know, I did say I was going to screen record and show you guys how this operates, but I ran into a flaw, a flaw with this. As soon as you do screen recording or any f sort of uh, like external like video capture means, the entire remote just stops working. But as soon as, but then as soon as you stop doing the uh, capturing, it works again. You know, like it, it, right now it's doing volume up, volume down. So I don't know. Another flaw about this. Well, it could, it's good and bad. Well, it's bad. <laughs> it's not good. You hit this power button right there, and it shuts down your computer. Okay. That's not bad, you know. But here's where it becomes a flaw. It shuts it down, but the same button will not power it on. So that's a flaw. Um, but as a standalone remote, you know, this thing's really good. It operates on your computer nicely. It has a few kinks that needs to be worked out with it, but it's still not a bad remote. And from my understanding, there's a TV button right there. And from my understanding, you can program it with the, you gotta use these with the TV button command. And you can somehow pair it with a smart TV, uh, ro like a ro Roku box, Roku, Roku, a Roku box. Um, I don't think it's going to work with my TV that I use as a computer screen because my TV is not a smart TV. But overall, overall, this does have a few flaws that needs that needs to be worked out but it's an extremely good device you know it actually when it does work it works beautifully so i'm not going to be giving this a horrible review just i'm saying that it, there's a few kinks that needs to be worked out of the air air mouse but overall i'm going to give this a nine and a half out of ten you know yes the kinks can be annoying but when you record you could just use a mouse and keyboard and you know when you do uh, like external capture you know this I tested it with Netflix and oh my god that was like the best experience ever because you can turn it up like it you hold it like a remote and you can and you can actually use a program and program buttons to be commands but you don't need to you know because up here you got your play which I had it set it up I had a program set up to where where I didn't need to use the, like the spacebar to uh, make Netflix play, I could use this button, which acted like my spacebar. So I use that, and then I hit that, and you know. So this is a very, 
this is actually a really good idea for a lot of people to have uh, multimedia setups or that watch Netflix on a computer. You know, you can sit back like this and hit play. Or what I was doing, I was in my bed, sitting up against that wall, on my bed, up against that wall, feet laid out, using this and hitting the play button. And then it was playing. So this is, it's a really cool device for how cheap it is. It's, I think it should be, an, everyone, I think everyone should own one of these. You know, it's 12 to $16 and the functions, it will definitely come in handy in a lot of scenarios. So for the Retech Air Mouse, I'm going to give this, despite its flaws, I'm going to give this a nine and a half out of 10. Guys, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all in my future videos. Bad Bobby Gamers out. Peace.